Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Art Starts Explores Mapping. Mapping Favorites. The logo for Explores is red and black, and the O in the Explores is the lens of a giant magnifying glass. The video begins in a small studio. A white adult with gray hair, black eyebrows, and a black shirt sits in front of a tall shelf lined with art supplies. They unfold a large road map. They hold it down, smile at the camera, and say, Hello, my name is Kay. The scene changes to show from above a green cutting mat on a drafting table. A small A-frame sandwich board made of cardboard sits with a yellow sticky that reads, Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. A pair of white adult hands unfold a large road map of the city colonially known as Vancouver. Another sticky note shows the word maps. Another sticky note says, exploring favorites. The paper road map shows the city of Vancouver down to the south or bottom of the page. The upper part of the page is mostly blue, showing the water or the Burrard Inlet. Hello, my name is Kay. If you hadn't already guessed, this month's theme is maps. This week, we're going to be mapping by exploring favorites. You're probably used to maps looking like this, or this. But did you know that you can map information to look like this? The page shows a T shape, one line going up and down, and one line going left to right. All over the page are dots in pink and black. This is what we're going to explore this week. We're going to be mapping favorites. If you want to explore by just watching, that's great. If you want to make along with me, do you have any paper? Any paper will do. Do you have any mark making tools? A pencil? A crayon? Or, do you have any toys or game pieces that can mark up our map? In maps, we map distance or the relationship of places so we can find things. 
we need to know where something is in relation to something else so that we can find it. But how do we map information? I'm going to clear my art making area and get rid of our map because we don't need a street map this week. <laughs> 